So let's move into our cancel culture portion. This isn't so, so much... Well, it's a lot broader than just politics. It definitely comes into play in politics, but it is something that has made its way into our society. And um, yeah, let's, so let's just talk about it. So I want to ask you, what is cancel culture as you understand it? Like, what is the definition of cancel culture? For me, cancel culture is ostracizing someone from social circles based on their opinions or actions. So to me, cancel culture would be someone does something problematic and the masses of internet rally and attack and cancel essentially means like lose your career. That's what people I feel want. I've noticed that when people are canceled because I'm a teacher and I'm an educator, when people are canceled, there is no room for that victim to grow and to change. It's like, I want you to lose your job. I want you to lose everything. We may differ on this. I feel like sometimes that is rightfully so. And I'm just going to make a broad statement. Like if you're, if you've done racist things and you're still actively doing racist things in a position of power with minorities, then yes, maybe you shouldn't be working that job. If you are a police officer who is abusing your powers, you are making other police officers look bad. You shouldn't be in that job. That kind of thing. When it comes to something someone said 10 years ago in a culture that was very different, have they apologized? Have they grown? Have they in their actions, not necessarily their words, but made up for what they said 10 years ago, should that give them a pass? So my next question is, in your opinion, under what circumstances should people be canceled and lose their careers? Yeah, to start right off, uh, if you commit a crime, especially one that is, you know, racially motivated, socially motivated, those types of things, you should be canceled. I mean, that's, you know, that's a no, no. Um, Is there a time limit on the crime? Like if someone committed a crime 10 years ago, maybe it was a racially motivated crime 10 years ago. What is your opinion on that? It's tough to say because, you know, it depends on, you know, the crime and what it was and how forward it was in the like media and that kind of stuff you know if it's a it's a huge case it's a huge issue those people aren't going to bounce back from that I feel they're always going to be that person that did that thing but I think in a time period when things were a little bit different and we look at the the stats and the the data behind what the that person did we can make that decision ourselves whether yeah case by case basis exactly right Yeah, Yeah. yeah, yeah so in your opinion crime is depending on the crime yep could be a cancelable offense. Absolutely. What do you think is not a cancelable offense where someone shouldn't lose their career and essentially lose everything? Yeah, the biggest thing is that I see nowadays is when someone's being canceled for saying something by a generation of people that weren't even old enough or weren't even born in the time that the incident occurred. Uh, For instance, somebody said something 20 years ago and a 17-year-old or something like that is starting to make fun of of that or pulling back those memories up to the forefront on social media that kind of thing like you didn't grow up in that time you didn't know what the state of the social circles were and what was appropriate to be said and whatnot and today that might be totally different but if you didn't know that back then and you weren't aware of that you don't need to cancel somebody today for it like you just don't know you don't understand and we're not necessarily excusing that 20 years ago we're not saying it was okay but it was very much a product of the society and you can and this is like a rabbit hole and this is where like people on the left might like jump at me but because people will be like well slavery was appropriate at the time and it's like you're right but we're not saying it was right do you know what I mean yeah we're not saying what they said was right 20 years ago but we're saying that we've grown as a country and we should be celebrating the fact that we're not doing that stuff anymore And that those people have changed. As long as they're not continuously doing the same things they were in a comedy skit 20 years ago. Right, right, right. You know, that's that's something that you cannot be canceled. You shouldn't be canceled for. It's just not right. Right. And again, I think we can make rate it on a case by case basis. What was said, how severe. But even we grew up in the early 2000s and it's just it amazes me how politically incorrect 
the 2000s were. Yeah. And how even things I've said. And like, we're and I don't know if you're experiencing this, but as a millennial, I am experiencing things that we said when we were growing up are OK. And that's always going to continue to happen. Things that kids today say are going to be deemed not OK in a couple of years. If someone said something 20 years ago, I want to know, did they grow as a person? What did they do to amend that? What did they do to improve are they doing it now and if if they've grown you know maybe give them i i'm always a benefit of the doubt i want people to learn from their mistakes yep. and if they have learned from their mistakes you know maybe they don't deserve to to lose everything for something they said 20 years ago again case by case basis that's yeah. just a very general statement. and a big thing now is people are getting canceled because they have a difference in opinion from somebody else you know you have to learn to live with people that are going to differ in viewpoints than you. You can't just say, oh, I, you're canceled because the majority of people don't like that you said that. Like, that's that's not something to be canceled for. You just, right, because having it's, a different opinion. Yeah, differences in opinion should not be a topic of cancel culture. I don't know about you, but when I think of cancel culture, I think of the left. Do you think of... Yes. Okay. I just want to say, and this goes back to the question, who is more critical of their own party... I have been canceled many times and people and you know what I mean by that is I haven't lost everything just like you know you, dis, little disagreements here and there and, and just like socially someone may be like what you said was wrong and stuff and one thing I appreciate about you and having you as a friend is, is I always come to you and you're like I can't believe they canceled you for that like you are one of the most progressive people I know and if like you get canceled then like what hope is there you yeah. know um, I'm not gonna get into I mean I obviously haven't said anything like extreme but I'm just saying that the left is so critical of the left actually in one of my college professors she said to me you kind of have to weigh the argument on how with you are they? Are they 100% with you? Are they 50% with you? Are they 0% with you? If they're 50% with you, how do you get them on your side? You don't want to cancel them and push them away from your side. And just like the most recent things I can think of is like the Whoopi Goldberg thing. She said something insensitive and we should hold her accountable, make her apologize to cancel her career. You know, I, I would want to make sure she's educated. I wouldn't want to cancel her career and then her be upset and be like, you know what? Jewish isn't a race and like really double down on her opinion rather than giving her time to like grow. Yeah. That kind of thing. And to think about having a simple conversation with your friend. Some things that you say, you don't even think about right. the repercussions that could happen. Like, and you're not trying to say it in a malicious way. You're not trying to, you know, hate on anybody, but it just comes out and you say it and you think back on it. And yeah, maybe I could have said that differently, but you know, you don't, when you're passionate about something, you tend to just spew what's on your brain instead of really looking back at that kind of stuff. And it's so it's tough to be canceled for just trying to speak with somebody, you know. Right. And you want to at some level feel safe with the person that you're speaking to. You don't want to feel that that person is going to judge you. And I've been in that situations where I've had conversations with people and they're just making me feel like a trash person. And it's like, do you hear that I'm. I'm, I'm trying to understand. I don't want you to shut me out. That actually, it made me realize that education is a skill that not everyone has. Not everyone can be a teacher because people don't give information the best way. The other thing I wanted to say about cancel culture is we fail to realize that not every person is on the same page. That makes it so difficult to always be 100% socially acceptable and always say, the socially acceptable thing. I'm just going to use gay people because that's I'm gay. And you know, that's if someone says something anti-gay, not every gay person is going to agree that that is wrong. So then on what grounds can you be canceled? You're only being canceled by the side that disagrees with you, but there is a side that agrees with you. And again, without going into too many examples, because that's just a very broad example. But what I've noticed is as I mess up and as I say wrong things, I find that not everyone I, I, I talk with agrees that what I said was wrong. So then it puts me in a hard position of what do I say to what people, right? Because you're not going to please everyone at the end of the day. But cancel culture has created this thing where you you say something, you make a mistake, and you're just a terrible person, and you're like, whoa, 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 wait, like, help me out, help me be a better person. But not everyone wants to do that. When I think of cancel culture, we think of the left. I actually have some examples of right cancelings. I had to look them up. 
because I wasn't sure off the top of my head. Right now, Disney's getting canceled by the right for not supporting, which this is going to come up later, so we're going to put a pin in this, but, you know, Disney has made a statement that they're not going to support the, and can you help me out, do you know the name of the law off the top of your head? Yeah, it's the Parental Rights and Education Bill. Okay, so we're going to get into that later, but parents are upset that Disney has renounced support for donating to political parties for that reason, and, you know, they're trying to cancel Disney. Um, The Dixie Chicks. Do you know when the Dixie Chicks were canceled? They were canceled a long time ago. (laughs) So they were canceled. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because they did a, I think it was a show in London and they said, and I could be wrong, so please don't. like, Yeah, (laughs) don't come for us. Right. (laughs) But they did a show. I don't know. It could have been in the States. But they were like, listen, we support you guys. We are against this war. We do not support the president. And that's not a super popular thing to say while you're at war. We can look back and we can say things were wrong. But they got canceled for that, like dropped off the charts instantly, death threats, all that kind of stuff. Colin Kaepernick was canceled. You know, I tell my kids that standing for the pledge is a constitutional right they can choose not to and people might disagree with me on that but that is not in my opinion it is no teacher's place to say their kids can't because it is they will be backed by the law you know if it goes to court silent protest has been a tactic for civil rights since for hundreds of years so i mean and we can have differing opinions but um you know colin kaepernick he still doesn't have a job so you know that that happened i wrote nascar down here oh because they banned the confederate flag but yeah so the right does do some cancelings uh but i do think as a person on the left i feel a lot more pressure by the left because at any point in time and you know what else about cancel culture you only get canceled if you care people have tried to cancel people on the right like ellen generous and she doesn't care so what happens she doesn't get canceled we on the left we do care and this again just broad statements I wish I didn't have to do a disclaimer for every single thing, you know, but someone somewhere is going to pick apart what I say. You can't cancel people who don't want to be canceled. And especially, I feel like you can't cross party lines. Like the left can't cancel the right because at the end of the day, they never supported the right and the right gets support from the right. They're not going to lose support. Right. I feel like people on the left are the biggest victims of cancellation a lot of the times especially you may not know who this is but one of my favorite youtubers Lindsay ellis who i did send you the tweet she made about raya and the last yes. dragon which yeah. that's a whole big thing but she was such a proponent of rights and to silence that voice she quit youtube and so that's what i would if if you're on the left and you're listening to this you know what constitutes canceling, what constitutes education, and we don't want to silence our voices that are fighting for us. 